Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to talk about the new size 3 weapon that got introduced into the game with 2.4, and that's the Amon and Reese Scatter Cannon, known as the Pyro Burst. Now this weapon is designed to essentially be a shotgun for your ship, which should ring a little bit nostalgic to those of you that played Planetside, um, and it ends up firing a plasma burst that detonates to deal the real damage. Now I've used these quite a bit over the last few days, and mostly in Arena Commander modes, and I've had some differing results. With them being size 3 weapons, I rented 4 of them and ended up tossing them on my saber for testing. The range on these weapons is incredibly low, mostly because the spread is so wide. Now you can technically fire them at much greater distances, but the effectiveness is pretty much nil at ranges past about 200 meters or so. In order to see really good results, you need to equip them on faster ships so that you can end up closing the distance and getting into the effective range. So ships like the Car 2 All or the Saber seem to be kind of logical choices where uh, something like the Hornet would probably be a lot less ideal. The rate of fire on these weapons is one of the slower that I've actually seen in game to this point, so landing your shots the first time is going to be really important. If you're used to using things like repeaters or weapons with much longer ranges, it can be a hard mental battle to hold off on firing until you're really close and know those shots are going to end up landing. In swarm mode, they've proven to be very effective, and that probably is because the Vandal AI tend to fly very predictably and end up turning in place, meaning that you've got time to line up your shots and make it count. In modes like Battle Royale or Squadron Battle, um, they're a lot less effective considering players with even a little bit of skill or awareness have shown an ability to circle strafe and stay out of your range while they end up peppering you with longer range weapons, meaning you're taking a lot of damage and dealing none. Real players also tend to fly much less predictably than the AI, which means that your pip is going to be a lot less effective and predictable as well. It's also a bit harder to use when playing with real people considering the desync issues that are present today, meaning your shots aren't always landing. The damage they deal depends entirely on how close you are and how compacted your pellets are when they end up hitting and detonating, meaning you basically want to see the whites of their eyes before you're firing. There's almost this weird, interesting characteristic when it comes to using these weapons, and that's that it appears to kill the pilot most of the time, and the ship's left floating through space. Now, I'm not sure of the game balance or intentions, but if this effect ends up staying in place, it could end up being a nice piracy option to help you steal ships without destroying them. I would probably avoid going full monoboating when it comes to using the Pyro Burst, considering it severely limits your range, but on something like a Saber, you could easily equip two Panthers and two Scatter Cannons to deal damage at range while you end up jousting your way into the effectiveness and use the Pyro Burst at that point. Now, I'd be interested to see how these would perform on a man turret as well. And my initial thought on them would be that it's a bad choice considering you don't dictate engagement distance when it comes to comes to the turret, unless you're working very closely with the pilot. Um, you know, if otherwise you're going to have a hard time closing that distance, and you're going to be shooting these pyro bursts into nothingness. However, if there's ships that are coming in for very close range attacks on your larger ship, then it could be a, situa a situation where it would shine a little bit. You might find a balance if you can have fighter escorts that are dealing damage at a further distance and then your only responsibility is for actually dealing the damage when they're coming in close, but my initial reaction is to stick with range and DACO type weapons uh, to help protect your ship with turrets more effectively. At this point, I don't really consider the Pyro Burst to be a good valid option for your purchase, primarily because they're pretty limited to very certain engagement zones, and uh, with how new they are, they're likely going to be changed and tweaked several times, and we don't know if that's going to be for the better or the worse. Once you take them into the universe, you're going to have to deal with even larger ranges and larger zones, and I think we see more issues raising to the surface in that type of environment. I would encourage you to rent them with Wreck for the time being, at least until we get Voyager Direct Melting or in-game UEC purchases in place, because those sort of things are going to make purchasing risky weapons a little bit easier to swallow. Overall, I think the weapons are fun, they can be effective, but I would say in most situations there's much better options. So that's going to be it on this video. Uh, if you've used them and have opinions on it, please put them in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.